Hey guys, welcome back to Sam Family Fun at Home. Um, today we'll be using the A for Art, which means Art in Steam. Well, we'll be using straws and an iron to make cool creations. Let's get on to the making. Okay, so the stuff all you need is straws. You can have them like this, or you can have them cut up like this. It doesn't really matter. It just depends on the way you want to look. I want it to look. You'll need a pair of scissors, some non stick like proper non stick baking paper. Um, grease proof paper may work, but it's probably going to be too sticky. Um, if you're making necklaces or bracelets, you'll need a hole punch. We just have a basic one for kind of paper here. Um, um, string. We just have cotton. And, um, string. Um, you'll also need like a heat proof surface. We've just got a chopping board proof. Yeah, um, you should really use a wooden one, but we don't have one. And we, and of course, you need the iron. Okay, so, oh yeah. Also, for safety reasons, this you have to be super safe with the iron because it's super hot, and you cannot do this without an adult around. They, there absolutely has to be an adult. Okay, so first we're gonna be making a bookmark because you can make lots of different things like bookmarks, uh, bracelets, necklaces, all that type of stuff. So set out the straws the way you want them to be. Try to also have them like even at one end. It's fine because we'll chop it in afterwards, but still. <coughs> okay, now. Excuse me, side to side to. Please watch out. Okay, so what you need to do is grab the iron and place it down. It, it has to be at in between um, two to three dots for heat. It has to be pretty hot on the iron. And um, you need to p um, press down directly on them and hold it and move it around a bit for um, about 15 seconds. But make sure you're not counting super fast, otherwise it will be too short. So you put it down, you go one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Now, do not touch it straight away. It will be hot. Really hot. Just wait a few seconds, maybe fan it. Get a parent to help you with this because... Like I say, it is hot. You do not want to burn yourself. Okay, now, wait a few seconds for it to cool down. Once it's cool enough, it, sh it should be stuck together. Because you see, we're using the heat to melt it so that it sticks together. If you wait too early, it will start bending, as you can see, and then so that you can see. So try to let it to cool down first. You might want to do the other side because see this is flat but this is not. So simply just put it back and iron it for 15 seconds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because it's already been ironed a little bit, you just need to do it for 10 seconds because it's just flattening it. And like I say, wait a few minutes before you touch it. Because it'll be super hot. Make sure you've got scissors handy because the next bit you'll be using scissors for. Okay, now it's about almost cool enough for me to touch. So I'm going to lift it up if it's the way I want it. And it's cool enough to touch. I'm going to grab the scissors and trim the ends just to make it look a bit better. 
if it isn't melted as much as you want, you can try, you can melt it again. Make sure I'm just gonna clean my area and put this in rubbish bin. Okay, now you've got a bookmark. You can put it in a picture book or just a regular book, and it does absolutely fine. Okay, another thing you can make is a necklace. Scientist number two here is going to make a heart shaped necklace and she's using a cardboard template to, uh, to make the love heart uh, later on so that she gets a nice shape. Make sure that you don't um Make sure they're not spread out too far or they might, um, might not work. This one may take a little bit longer just because they're all small pieces and they're not all the same one piece yet. Just be careful how much you're melting it though. taking it out and turning it over just keep it in the baking paper and flip it over like this and then iron the other side if it's not quite melted um just keep ironing it but I think this is pretty good we just need to wait for it to cool down and I'm just gonna iron this edge a bit more because I missed that bit. okay once it's cooled down we'll open it up Whether or not it works, but we need to wait for it to cool down a little bit more and maybe iron a little bit more. Okay, and um, while we wait for that to cool down, I want to show you guys another thing you can make. <coughs> it's a tic tac toe board. So all you need is just um, four straws, a uh, bit of straw, or whatever, and melt them like that. I, I don't know whether you can see, but I've melted them in a weaving pen, but that's really hard. So I suggest you just um, do it like um, two over two. Um, so lay down those two first, and then lay down those two over top. Um, and just play it. I've just got pom poms. We're not going to play it right now, of course, but you can just play a game like bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Like that. Nobody wins. Yeah, so that's another thing you can make. Okay. 
make sure like if you can't if you want to do the love heart really like good you can make a um a, a template and this one's just made out of a um, wheat bix cereal box Use the other end of the pen. There you go. I mean, it's on different edges. All the way in. Okay, so there you go. See, you can make amazing creations just with straws and an iron and a pair of scissors and just a few extra things. Okay, bye. See you in the next video.